Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Rebel Inc. Escalation in our Tango Armadillo campaign. So taking a look at these maps, what do we got here? Diplomacy initiatives already funded is pretty nice. Intel collection significantly slower is terrible. Coalition soldier deployment time increased significantly. Destruction of critical structures is the death of a mission. Okay, same thing here. So we have vulnerable embassy in both. Excess funds, don't worry about that. Peace negotiations are slower and all soldiers are coalition soldiers. Um... Between the two, I actually think Cashew Jungle is going to be harder because Intel Collection really hurts. I actually, in my own time, was doing a campaign where I had a uh, two map features stacked up where Intel Collection was um, decayed over time and wherever insurgents controlled zones, they reduced Intel in all neighboring zones. And those two together were like death. There was almost no way to beat that scenario. It was really really unpleasant. So with these, um, Coalition Soldiers deployed, extended, eh... What we may want to do is go for... I think this time around, we're going to go for something like the Banker. Something fairly generic, something I'm not too worried about. We do want to start using Advisors this time around, though. So, Coalition Soldiers cannot be extended. That doesn't bother me too much, to be honest. Um, I actually may not use a Blue Advisor and save those just in case. Uh, we can go for... We can go for the Instructor, I guess. That should be fine. Uh, I am going to go for the Tax Collector. So we gain more income from the Stable Zones we already have. With the Banker, that ends up working pretty well. Save the Purple, because only three of these are actually worth anything. I want to save them for later. Um, I think that going for, let's say, the Religious Leader could be good. Let's actually go instead for the Militia Chief. And we want to go for the Journalist, so we can gather intelligence faster and offset what we're losing here. Okay, that seems reasonable enough. So we do want to stack up some cash, if at all possible. Setting up our HQ probably in this urban area makes a lot of sense. So we'll do that. We do have an embassy, and I want to defend that with my HQ. Okay, so let's go for the district representatives. Let's go for the corruption reduction. Let's fund some of our um, education. And it looks like having democratic transition, universal justice, and foreign relations automatically is a thing. That's pretty nice. And we've got garrisons defending the HQ like crazy. So we are a stronghold right here. Hopefully they spawn right in this area. We never have to worry about the insurgents again. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen, but it would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, all right, what do we want? Probably the PR media outreach, since we already have universal justice. That just gets me a lot of benefit. I'd like to stay above $20 as much as possible to just go ahead and rake in the extra cash as the banker. That does help a little bit. Um, some corruption reduction would not be a bad idea, though, so we'll go ahead and buy a level of that. Just to keep it nice and low, since we do, uh, seem to start with a little bit of extra. Um, prioritizing elections costs a lot of money, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. Because, I mean, it just seems like the right choice. Gaining intelligence at a reasonable-ish speed? Doesn't seem that bad. I think getting the journalist did a pretty good job of actually offsetting things. Now, the elections are gonna be held pretty soon, but... The insurgents haven't gained any power yet, so that actually should be some pretty free reputation with very little risk. Uh, what else we want to do? We could go for... What do people want? Telecommunications? Probably time to go for some infrastructure. Okay, so they have fired. Question is, where are they going to be? Um, let's go for the full elections with no risk. Guaranteed five reputation is super duper nice. Let's start training up some soldiers across the board. Still sitting above $20. I want to just get these national soldiers going because they just take forever. Uh, full reform? Sure, we can do prison reforms. I feel like that's new, by the way. That wasn't a thing a while back. Ooh, maybe they did fire over here. Let's see if there's a camp in this area. If not, then it's over here, and if so, that's great because I have garrisons to defend like crazy. I really hope that the camp isn't over here. I think the camp is over here. What do you know? Hey, there's something here. Okay. Um, well, we can defend these areas, and that's the first group that's going to be completely contained. That was, like, so unbelievably fortunate. It's hilarious. We can go for another garrison and build another one right here. There it is. <laughs> Three garrisons. You're screwed. You're not going anywhere, dang it. You're not going anywhere at all. More children attending school. Well, that's good. Uh, strategic communications. Probably a good idea, but let's instead go for that telecommunications. Oh, wait. We actually want to get some more Coalition Soldiers, because I see a camp right here. I'd love to destroy that before they're able to do much. These guys can't go very far. Now, they can cross this, and that's a problem. I do want to stop them before they can go over here. Uh, we can get rid of this camp. 
So I don't think they were able to spawn any units over here, which means they are now well and truly contained. So one unit going here, plus one unit using the garrisons, means we've actually got this completely under wraps. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, local police recruitment and some corruption reduction. Why not? Let's make it even harder for them to go anywhere. In case they decide they want to spawn a new group. We're going to go ahead and grab the rural um, development guy. Might as well use that. Let's go for the interpreters and guides. And um, we don't need stronger garrisons right now. So let's go for the strategic communications for the extra support level. So the second map is going to go amazingly well, it turns out. Um, I do not appreciate that you got this. Okay, so they're retreating. Let's move here. Uh, we're going to lose this garrison. Yeah, they took that pretty quick, actually. There are, there are admittedly quite a few of them. Some airstrikes would help. We actually could really use some drones as well, because I bet you they have camps, and I'd like to blow them up. Let's try not to lose this garrison, though. Okay, so there's the camp. Let's deploy the rural specialist. And we will attach it to a unit that I'm going to keep for a long time. And then... For now... Ah, uh, they moved into these mountains. That's an issue. I need to win this. I need to push them back. What is this? Oh, the reinforcements! I forgot! Oh, right! So they have they have their own reinforcements, which are going to be causing a lot of issues. Right, 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 right. Let's make the garrison stronger so it's easier to win that. Kick them back. Okay, and then I'm going to send a unit over, let's say, here, just to try and reinforce so we can kick these guys out of here, if at all possible. A cover-up, 12% chance that fails. Uh, let's move here. Got to keep counteracting them. Let's get some more national soldiers, and... Um, what do people want? More telecommunications and healthcare. Well, I can do healthcare. Let's uh, see. What kind of roads we got here? Interstate and dirt roads. I think we want dirt roads. Because that's where I'm going to have the most trouble. If I can win this and push you guys back, that would be huge. But you've got reinforcements. Ah, you set up another group. Okay. Let's get some more um, national soldiers going. Also some corruption reduction. Don't know if we're going to be able to win this fight. Maybe? Eh, yeah, it looks like we can, actually. That's good. Alright, so these guys are going to get kicked back. That's solid. Okay, so we can keep these guys contained a little bit longer. More garrisons would be nice right about now. Uh, subtle pressure? Sure. Okay, hold up. I didn't even notice you guys moved here. Okay, so we're going to finish that off as a camp. Let's see if we can get rid of that. I'm going to keep you guys here for the moment. The garrison in this area seems fine. Uh, full elections, that's a pretty darn high chance it fails, but let's try for it. Okay, it worked. What else do we need? Um, we're, training, we're training up two national soldiers already. I can't train more than that right now. Let's go for an interstate. And let's go for a corruption purge. We still haven't done the civilian outreach. I just haven't felt the need because I already have um, the universal justice. And that's one of the main reasons that I picked that up. Heavier munitions might make a difference. In places like this where they're reinforcing. That reinforcements are, is actually going to completely change the way that I play things here. That's a huge issue. Alright, we need some more soldiers. I'm going to go ahead and get another coalition soldier to defend up over here. We're trying to destroy this camp. We do not want to lose the garrison or the urban area. So that's gone. Let's try to contest and push these guys back for a second. Yeah, lots of neighboring insurgent zones is a problem. I don't know how strong their reinforcements are, really, but it's enough that I'm worried about it. Okay, so this is going to be under wraps. I would like to go here so that they don't go into the uh, remote areas if possible, and then using the garrison, we actually can clear these guys out if I am able to take control of this zone. All right, looking fine. Got plenty of money as the banker. Let's go for some more security. And let's go for some more dirt roads just so I can redeploy quickly. Case in point, right over here. And national soldiers, I'm just going to place some right here. I feel like we might as well. Okay, so these guys get kicked out. Uh, what else we want to do? Train up the next national soldiers and maybe another corruption purge. It's worth a pretty good amount of support, honestly. All right, these guys are going to die. Solid. So now we want to go for anything that rolls out initiatives faster. Um, we're still pretty bad as far as stabilizing a lot of zones. We have not stabilized much. Not yet. We're going to threaten them to get some extra reputation. Might as well. Yeah, we probably should go for the civilian outreach. It would be pretty helpful, I think. Could fight that, no problem. Okay, so let's do that. Then probably some remote subsidies. 
Just because the remote areas are where I think I'm gonna have the most trouble. And there's a good chance that they are gonna- Whoops, I can't- Oh, I forgot, I can't, um, keep you guys. We're gonna have to send you home. Alright, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's do that. Let's make our national soldiers stronger. And let's go for some corruption reduction, because it's a little on the high side. So these guys are gonna have to be able to win a lot of these fights on their own going forward. Hello. Should be able to kill you right now, actually. There's a camp down there. Let's go ahead and nip it in the bud. Okay, so far solid. Sitting on a bit of money. I'm trying to do that with the banker, trying to be smart. We should end up with having a load of reputation in this particular map. Because we weren't able to actually extend any of the deployments. Okay, so these guys are dead. Good, good, good. Let's go for some national soldiers up over here, I guess. I don't know, I'm just trying to roll out initiatives wherever I can. Uh, let's make them faster to move around. We could do the business advisors so soldiers increase local support levels. I think that makes a lot of sense. Help me stabilize zones a little faster. Significant concern over a lack of jobs. Well, fine. We'll do the development bank and then we'll do the remote subsidies. Will that make you happy? I kind of want to keep these guys here because I do not want them crossing the bridge. So, yes. Let's go for the remote subsidies here. Sorry, this one, keep, I keep forgetting. It's remote outreach, not subsidies. Camp! Try to destroy it quickly. Uh, full elections, 13% chance. There's another camp. Hello. Um, let's make you guys stronger. Let's protect here. Yeah, two camps spawning next to each other. That's an issue. Airstrike it! Now! 4% chance, I'll take it. Should be able to crush this quickly. Fortunately, he's not spawning anybody, weirdly enough, despite the fact that I know he has camps. So you I have to send home, no choice in the matter. You want to go defend the garrisons. Still trying to roll out initiatives over here, but we are not making a lot of progress on that front. We really are not. It's pretty terrible, actually. Let's go for the security and the civil support, making it uh, harder for them to actually push past my garrisons, and also we get a little bit more local support. That always helps. Okay, looking fine in a few of these spots. Did we find another camp? I think we did. Threaten, 9% chance. We're fine with that. Should build an airstrike over here. Cover up, 23% chance. Never admit failure. Never admit fault. Uh, prove with oversight. Sure, increase some local support level. Got 100 bucks that we're sitting on. Telecommunications, better roads, land rights. There. Corruption's really high, but I don't care. Not anymore, anyway. It's going to burn down pretty quick. Sure! If there's a chance that civilians are going to die, that just increases the chance that I want to do an airstrike. <laughs> no, we actually probably should start burning that down a little bit soon. Uh, we are going to donate to charity, get a lot more support level. Huge increase in corruption. Doesn't bother me too much. Bravo Lima is almost done. There is a camp. Let's go get rid of that. Medicine chains uh, fixed. Let's go over here. Okay, we're doing fine so far. We're actually doing a really good job. This was super fortunate as far as they spawned here with all these garrisons. Let's try to talk to them now. 133 reputation. Amazing how that works, huh? Uh, let's see. I am going to... I don't really want to get more corruption is the problem. We're already seeing on too much. We can't do anything. I got all this money and nothing to do with it. Well, I guess I can just hoard it. How's that sound? Yeah, let's hoard all the monies. Oh, crap. You spawned something. Uh, well, let's get rid of this camp for sure. Move here. Insurgents are banned, of course. And I'm going to temporarily move you here. I think we got the roads to make that work. Without losing anything, the garrison should be fine, at least temporarily. Hand in all your weapons. Increase your pay, make them stronger. Why not? This place just stabilized. Perfect. They're just moving around in their own zone for some reason. The security should be able to finish this guy off, but I'm not taking any risks. Okay, they spawned a new thing. Garrison right here. Perfect. I can finally leave the zone and feel safe. Let's try to push these guys into the only area that should be fine. They escaped. Gosh dang it. Well, I'll finish them off anyway. Subtle pressure. Say you're sorry. Fund the military. Okay, they moved into this garrison. That's a problem. Come on. Clear them out quickly, please. 
Okay, you guys need to move down here. They're pushing to the garrisons. They're going to take over these zones. That's an issue, and international forces can remain as long as I dang will say so. Oh, what I miss over here is an airstrike. It is 8% chance. Okay. And we should probably tighten our rules a little bit. We're being a little on the lax side. These guys are just going to keep escaping. That's an issue. Well, let's do this. We'll clear out this camp for sure. I would like to think that the police will finish these guys off, but apparently not. I'll get some more coalition soldiers just so I can make sure we finish them off. Keep chasing them to wherever I have police and security so I can kill them. Okay, that's another camp gone. We are going to uh, reject the deal. Certainly not going to accept anything when you have this many uh, zones under control. That's ridiculous. 15% chance? Acceptable risk. Okay, so that's gone. They're going to run over here. That's actually... Gosh, how is it that the second I left a stable zone, you came back? How does that work? Explain that to me. Hold on, I want you guys to stay put. At least until this guy's able to get in position. There we go. Go here, go here. Okay. Uh, we are going to fund the military. Let's just make him stronger for a second. This guy wants to go home, and that's probably fine. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's go for some more jobs. Yeah, I'll send you home. Alright, fine. Okay, so they're going to try to punch in here. This zone is not connected. We can move you here safely. That camp's going to have to go. Got it. Okay, let's move you here. Let's move you here. And that should be enough to actually finish these guys off. I'm sitting on way more money than I know what to do with. Look at the banker. <laughs> ah, we make so much cash. It's ridiculous. Uh, sure, subtle pressure seems appropriate. All right, so we're going in for the kill at this point. We got garrisons everywhere. They can't go anywhere at all. They're just dead. Straight up, they're just dead. Cover up. Yep, never admit responsibility. Oh, hey, look. We found your last camp. Crush. Come on, finish them off. Come on, finish him off. Don't let him retreat. And now we can accept a peace deal. Perfect. All right, second map went completely fine. That was lucky. That was phenomenally lucky, but I think we're going to get a really good score this time around. Empty cave discovered. Really? I only just now found that thing? All right. Five stars, 17,000 points. Fine, I guess. So what perk do we get next? Outreach initiatives already funded is pretty solid. Choose garrison locations. I wonder if this works with the starting with extra garrisons. I don't know if it does. We're going to defeat and get a second champ. Now, nah. we're going to go for the outreach initiatives. We tried this in the past and found out that it was pretty darn good getting that civilian outreach and all those subsidies or um, outreach endeavors. Means you roll out initiatives extra, extra fast. I like that. Okay, so now comes the point of the game where I'm going to have to look at these three maps and plan which ones I want to do in what order as they get progressively harder. Choose the easiest one for last. That's That's got to be the goal. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.